Hello, dear grade 6 students. This is your digital design teacher, Mr. Bilal Hatamle. In this video, I'm going to tell you what we are going to cover in the next two weeks. That are lessons 7 and 8 of the week 24th of September till 28th of September. Then lessons 9 and 10 during the week of 1st of October till 5th of October. Before proceeding, just please make sure that you will recognize and understand the design cycle that we talked about during the first lessons. So, in lesson seven, as you remember, we started the first criterion in the design cycle, which was about investigation, analyzing and inquiring, or inquiring and analyzing. So we will continue investigation during lesson seven and it is supposed that the investigation criterion will be covered after end of lesson seven and you are requested to present the main research findings that you will be working on to be used into the brochure to raise awareness of pollution and how to stop it during the lesson we will have a task to be solved and to be filled, completed during the lesson through and using the booklet that will be distributed at the beginning of the lesson. So as I said, after lesson seven finished, it is supposed that criterion A, inquiring and analyzing covered completely in the previous lessons. Then, before proceeding, just take a quick look on the design cycle this is the first criterion inquiring and analyzing we went through the sub criteria inside starting from explaining and justifying the need for the solution which is creating the brochure for raising awareness about pollution and how to stop it then we learn how to identify and prioritize the research and how to distinguish between primary and secondary sources then we learn how to analyze existing products, uh, same uh, brochures, designs, sketches for raising awareness of pollution. And then we learn to develop a design brief. So in next lesson, in lesson eight, we will start a new criterion. We move to the new criterion, which is about de developing ideas. Also, it contains four sub criteria inside we will go through during the next lesson and the lessons after. So lesson eight, we will start, as I said, with the criterion B, developing ideas. During the lesson, you will develop a list of success criteria for the brochure. And also you are requested to start presenting your design ideas about sketches for the brochure. Just we will see some samples of brochures that you may find useful and you can get benefit from those samples to design your sketch of a brochure. Here is one sample, another one, third sample, and last sample. Uh, as I said before, we have lots of samples. We have many websites that provide you with hundreds of samples of brochures. You can search among them. You can customize existing ones to add your thoughts and ideas about the brochure in its final phase. Then we move to lesson number nine which is to continue presenting design ideas that we started in the previous lesson sketches for the brochure we will have further discussions about the design ideas what you included in your design ideas or what you are planning to include in your design ideas why and uh, to discuss some of the main areas of your brochure and design ideas also you will create a planning drawing which is a draft that includes details of the brochure design 
and we will go through canva.com website that you will be using to design and create your brochure here is the website the canva.com website that you can use to create design and test your brochure in its final phase in lesson 10 we will learn the ICT necessary technical skills needed for preparing a brochure you will learn how to explore templates how to customize your brochures how to add more design elements to your brochure how to preview your brochure before printing how to share your brochure online and how to get benefit of social media this is what we are going to cover during lesson 10 please as usual refer to your bc account to check the pages of the lessons on a regular basis if you have any inquiries any questions please do not hesitate to contact me to contact me directly through the bc or send me email message so i can reply to you in the soonest thank you all i'm wishing you all the best